everybody, Invisible Katani here doing a reaction and review for the Black Panther teaser trailer. Really cool that this came out. Uh, they just did like a small release with the poster, and I thought that was all we were going to get. I was like, okay, we're getting like our first, you know, teaser poster, and then we'll get the trailer in like a month or two or something like that. I didn't think it would be like, here's the, you know, teaser uh, poster, and I was like, oh, that's cool. That, that was like, you know, the big news, but it's just a poster. And then like a few hours later, I kept seeing on Twitter that the trailer came out. I was like, oh, okay, they did like a double thing. So, very cool. Came out during the craziest time for me, because this week is E3 week. Uh, for people who may not be, like, gaming uh, nerdy, that's like the big gaming conference of the year. It's like a full week thing. So it started today, and I didn't think I was even going to have time to do a reaction. I was just going to do a review for it, but there was only one conference today, and I was like, okay, I already did that video. All the other, like, conferences, like the full day stuff starts tomorrow. So I was like, okay, I actually have way more time today than I expected, so that lets me catch up on... Pretty much everything I've been missing all week thanks to my stupid car and having to replace my tires. So, I'm going to get right into this. Um, I'm just excited for it. You know, I, I like Black Panther. I don't know too much about the character also of like a few minute appearances that I've seen from the cartoons. Like the most I know about Black Panther is from the old um, Avengers Arts Money's Hero cartoon, which got canceled right before uh, they made like the new cartoon that takes place within the cinematic universe. So. Other than that, I didn't really know much about Black Panther, and that was when he didn't even have, like, the cool outfit he has now. That was, like, the old school, where it was just basically a black silhouette-type outfit. But excited to get into this, so that is what we're going to do. See what villains we got, although I know one of them because it's obvious. Um, but I'm excited to see what we get from this trailer. Hmm. We got the guy from Civil War. I wish I could think of that actor's name. I actually like him. Textiles, shepherds, cool outfits, all the front. Explorers have searched for it. Call it El Dorado. They looked for it in South America. But it was in Africa the whole time. Mm -hmm. I'm the only one to see this. And made it down to life. See, like, this costume is super sweet to me. Really excited to see some of this hand to hand combat. Very nice. Of course, coming soon. That was a good trailer. I like that. That was pretty cool. We got to see way more combat than I thought we were going to see uh, from this movie, at least from more people, because, you know, a lot of Black Panthers, like, there's a specific character where I, typically when Black Panther shows up, there's this one character, and they always end up fighting, and it's like a whole ceremony sort of deal, but there's a ton of hand-to-hand -hand combat in this. There are a lot of different weapons. There was even some tech stuff, like, the woman who was basically, like, you know, she had, like, two Mega Busters on her hand, like she was Mega Man or something, so... There should be a lot of interesting combat in this. I kind of, I was kind of expecting just to see like a lot of you know, like it's just Black Panther flipping and kicking people a bunch, but we get to see a lot of different people fighting this. So that has me very excited. Um, I don't know if that one shot was supposed to be Wakanda, where like the ship is flying through and it's like it's flying through the city. I've never seen Wakanda look like that. Like from everything I've ever seen with Wakanda, and this this will be a cool uh, version of it. Every version of Wakanda I've seen has just been, you know, this village. It's like, you know, it, it looks totally different in this. So I'm very excited to see how they utilize this. Like, um, Claw actually, or I believe his name is Claw, I forgot. But um, the dude that they rescue is like, is all of this taking place in Wakanda? Like, how, you know, some of these places ha can't be Wakanda. Like, you know, some of this has to be jumping over from place to place. But it looks really exciting. So I'm very excited to see a lot of this combat. 
all the outfits look really cool and we got like a bunch of warrior characters and stuff so it definitely looks sweet i love this ending clip where he's like flipping over the car in slow motion and then he lands on another one so i'm excited to see um exactly how things play out for this film i, I was already excited because we're getting like another hero like that's always cool black panther I always thought was a cool character in general um, he's black, so that's a bonus for me. That's, you know, once again, that doesn't matter to some people, but it matters to me. Um, but I always thought he was a cool character in general, so I'm excited to see what they utilize from his storyline. And I would love to see, I don't know if they'll actually do this or if they'll ever do it, but he has these weapons that are like, um, they're almost like daggers that he holds on to, but they can shoot like, um, they actually shoot like seismic waves out. I don't know if he'll ever have those or not in the cinematic universe, but I would love to see those show up in this because those are like his signature weapon. They're like little daggers, but they basically shoot off waves of energy. And I always thought that was kind of cool. I was like, I would love to kind of see that. At least I believe they shoot off. If they don't shoot off, they're at least like, so, like, they're like little energy blades. So whether they shoot stuff off or not, I would love to see him get those weapons somewhere in this movie. Or at least, you know, maybe they make a reference to it or something like that. But I'm pretty sure they like, they're like blades, but they can also, he can wave them and they'll like shoot off like a little dagger. So I would love to see that, but like I said, I'm excited to see what we get out of this in general. This already looks good. The visuals look great for this, where it's like all the costumes and stuff. It's a lot, you know, African tribes and stuff like that. So very excited to see how they utilize that. They even have the scene with them in the snow. I was like, all right, well, Africa. So, I, you know, I mean, there's a lot of different places in Africa, but you never see anyone ever be like, you know, we go from here in Africa to this random place where it's snowing. And I would love to see if that's even, you know, some mystical stuff. I wouldn't be too surprised by that, where it's like, they should be in the desert, but somehow it's snowing in this one area. I would love to see that if that's just another little bit of world building. But it could just be that they travel somewhere where it's snowing. But it was like, I don't know. It's kind of hard to say. But that was definitely a cool trailer. Of course, we'll love to know what you guys thought about it. So please comment below. Let me know your favorite parts about it, your least favorite parts about it. Of course, this is the very first teaser trailer. But I would love to know what you guys want to see from the next trailer that we're going to get. For me personally, um... I would really like, it's such a small thing, but I would love to see him have like his signature weapons in there somewhere. I just think that would be really cool because for most of this, we kind of know who the villains are and stuff like that. So it was like, I can, I have some general guesses, but of course they're following comics anyway. So like you could just pick a comic story and it's like, it's probably going to follow one of these, especially with um, the certain characters that they have in the film. But I would love to see um, his weapons and I would definitely love to get a greater explanation as to this version of Wakanda, like, was that truly Wakanda with, like, sky, sky, skyscrapers and stuff like that? Or was that somewhere else that they were at? Because for me, like I said, every version I've seen of Wakanda just looks like a normal village. Like, of course, you have T'Challa in his palace, which is, like, you know, it's a freaking palace. But everything else is still like a normal village. It doesn't look like a city. So I would, lo I would love to see that version. I think that would actually be cool. Because it kind of, some of the buildings, even though they were like skyscrapers did kind of still look like they were using like um just like fire to light it up and stuff like that and the way the tops of the buildings look and things like that I was like I don't know this kind of looks like skyscrapers that still are made out of like bamboo and stuff like that like just a little bit at least that was like the aesthetic that they gave it so it's like I can't really tell I don't know if that's what kind of like I'm looking at it now the top of this building that they focus on definitely has like it's basically like uh, it's not bad but like straw on the top so it's like I think this might be Wakanda and this would be a very interesting version of Wakanda if it's still that style but it's still a few but it's a futuristic city it's almost it's basically what they should always have because it's basically like you know T'Challa walks around in like this super suit everybody else just looks normal and this villages just look like villages and this is like no we got skyscrapers we got trains and freeways and stuff like that I always feel like that's kind of what um Wakanda should look like because they have you know one of the basically the rarest material within the Marvel Cinematic Universe or the Marvel Universe in general which is um vibranium so I would love to see it. Um, I'm pretty sure this is actually their version of Wakanda, so I think that's really awesome. I would love to see more of this city. Um, and, you know, of course, they'll save a ton of the action. I would like to see just like a couple more hits in there. Just I'm an action fan, so that's just me. But I'm excited for this. I thought this was a really nice, you know, first teaser trailer. Um, a lot of just quick clips, like yep, combat, combat. Basically, it was you know, it was mostly action anyway. Once it got to like the the music starts to kick in, 
But I thought this was a really good trailer. Like I said, though, we'll love to know what you guys thought about this one. And, of course, I want to know what you guys want to see from the next trailer we're going to begin from this. So, please, put your comments down in the comment section below. And, of course, thanks for watching.